MC Mafia family. It's your girl Mel. And Chris is not here. So it's just myself. But you are watching the MC Mafia family. <laughs> talking about we're gonna be talking okay huh. how I've been feeling and just everything my anxiety and where my head's been at throughout this pregnancy this video is pretty much to all my first time mommies so if you are watching this and you are like me pregnant have a little bun in the oven congratulations comment Comment, 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 and I will get to your comment if, if you do comment. So comment if you are a first time mommy, you know? I, I need advice, I need I need feedback too. Anyways, so yeah, this is this video dedicates to all my first time mommies out there. Love y'all, congratulations, but let's get into the video. Um, Right now I'm actually 23 weeks tomorrow tomorrow I'll be 23 weeks my baby will be a size of a little mango but how I've been feeling number one I have to go to the bathroom so many times in a day it's ridiculous yes that's number one I pee all the time like non-stop this is a lot guys so that's that um number two I wake up or sometimes it just happens but it happens more in the morning but I wake up and my face is pills. My face peels. Right now it doesn't, I, I mean, excluding this, but I've been breaking out as well, as you guys can tell. That's why I left my makeup off, you know, just to show you guys, but I peel. In the beginning of my pregnancy, like when I was like six months, no, I'll say 12. I believe it was 12 months. I would actually peel worse. It was like, it would peel in my boobs and then I would peel like everywhere on my face and on my back. But right now it's just my face and it's not as bad as it was because I've been using this face cream stuff and it actually works great. So yeah, that. So it's been peeing, peeling. And thirdly is I, can't sleep at night it is very I just find myself very difficult very difficult to sleep at night like I can't get comfortable I toss and turn every second like I'm on my left side the next second I'm on my right side I try to lay on my it just I can't get comfortable y'all I really can't I try to put a pillow in between my legs it works sometimes but I end up having to switch sides it's just too much I can't get comfortable at all another thing is I've been feeling bloated like big I've been feeling like I'm stretching guys a lot <laughs> I've been feeling like I'm stretching I can't fit any of my clothes like my pants jeans wise I barely can't fit them shirts are stretching it's like up to here now see so like my shirts go up to here now can't I just it's a lot. I have to go shopping for maternity clothes. Right now I am wearing my like my work pants. <laughs> I have a hair tie and I tie it, you know? So yeah. But yeah, it's that. I feel bloated. Not only that, there was a time in the beginning of my pregnancy where I can eat so much. Like I cannot get enough of food. Now it's like, oh my God, I'm so hungry. I can't wait to eat and then when I eat, I get so much because that's that's you know how much I really want and then it's I only eat like a bite or two because after that bite or two I feel like I'm full like I feel like I'm full but I'm not like I'm hungry but I feel like I can't fit no more in there <laughs> so that's that fourth thing guys is my body has been hurting it's like my bones and my joints it just hurts so bad so it's like 
hard for me to bend. And you know what? I'm not even that far along yet. I mean, I mean, I'm, I mean, I don't know, guys. I don't know what it is, but I, it's hard for me to bend. My body hurts. It's just so yeah. My body's been hurting like crazy. But on a good note, guys, like in the beginning of my pregnancy, I wasn't like my boobs were hurt so bad oh like it would be so oh my god i feel like i'm i'm carrying watermelons on my chest type stuff like it was vain it was more veiny and under and itchy like right now my boobs is only itchy but in the beginning of my pregnancy it was itchy swollen and it hurt and ate so bad now good you know luckily it's not they feel normal again but they itch like hell and my worst fear is having saggy boobs and yes i do plan on breastfeeding so yeah my worst fear is having saggy boobs so i've been trying to wear bras and push-up bras to keep them up you know plump right now this is not a push-up bra or a push-up you know but i've been trying to keep them up but bras just it's, it's, it's not it's just uh irritating it's really irritating but i try to tolerate it so i will not have saggy boobs guys but it's not working another thing guys constipation so bad constipation has been so bad and i don't know if i'm able to like like i said i'm a first time mommy i'm still learning through this progress and this you know development guys i'm still learning but constipation i know is actually a um you know normal symptom for pregnant baby mommies or whatever so i've been very constipated you know where i have to where i feel like i have to go i can't because i'm constipated y'all but let's stop talking about that because i know it's like tmi so that's pretty much all of the uh, feelings and all everything that I've been going through lately. Um, and just so you guys know, yes, I'm having a boy, 23 weeks um, tomorrow. I'm highly excited. And two days ago, I finally felt the baby. Every time I lay on my left side, the baby tends to kick like it the baby tends to kick it's like it, it, it doesn't feel like like kick it just feels like little thumps like you could feel it it's like little thumps yeah people were telling me you're gonna feel butterflies i have not it's just been feeling like little thumps so i've been feeling it was just little thumps i hear i feel it here and there it's always at the bottom of my stomach and onto my sides you know so it's very, and it's actually very exciting to me because I have been, I've been having very bad anxiety, saying, you know, thinking to myself like, oh my God, I hope my baby's okay. Is he all right? And when I feel that baby kick, oh my God, it just makes my day brighter. It makes my anxiety go away, okay? So that's that. Now let me tell y'all about where my head's been. This is where my head's been. Everywhere, my head's been scattered. It's been everywhere. Like it goes from anxiety to this, to that. Like, oh, like I literally have conversations in my head. Like I have inner demons. It's just crazy, y'all. And what I've been having bad anxiety and what I've been everywhere about it's first of all, I know I'm pregnant and I'm gonna have this baby. I'm a first time mom and all that combined together, like, oh my God, I'm about to be a mother. Like, I'm still trying to get comfortable saying that. Like, I am about to be a mother, right? So it's like a lot of pressure. I feel like, oh my God, I need to get this. I need to get that. I need to make sure I have this. I need to make sure I have that. I need to. It's just so much and I, I'm, I'm overwhelming myself. I am. So for all my first time mommies that's going through that, take a deep breath, calm down, settle down. Maybe also talk to your fiance. Cause you know, my fiance, he actually helped 
he has a, a really good mind to where he can actually help me. And I don't know how, but he does. He finds a way to maintain me. So talk to your fiance and tell him how you feel. I mean, when you're just keeping that inside and you're just this and that all by yourself without your significant other, father at that, it's gonna be harder on you. So to put less stress for you and the baby, cause stress is not good for the baby, calm down. Talk to your baby, your fiance, have him calm you down, talk to him, just talk. It helps, it really does help. And when you do, you'll finally find that space to where you're like, okay, all right, I got this. Sit down, write a list, get a notepad out, write a list and start one by one. If you just start all over the place, like, oh, this and oh, you're, you're just gonna be everywhere. You're gonna be everywhere and you're gonna stress yourself out. So my advice to you guys is just, just slow down and whatever you need and whatever's going through your head that you know you need to get prepared for the baby. Usa, Usa. Just come on guys, let's, let's do it now, okay? Okay, got this. We got this, mommies, we got this. So, since we're all calm now, I'ma tell y'all what's been going through my head. Okay, I've been stressing myself out about trying to get into a two bedroom because right now I am currently in a one bedroom. When you know you about to have a baby and you in a one bedroom and it's small, no storage, no more closet space, it's just like, what am I going to do? So me and Chris, we set a budget price and it's so hard, being that we don't make a lot of money right now, it is so hard to find a house for rent, two bedroom at our budget price. I've been looking, I've been searching it. It's just, it's a lot. When my baby arrives, I want my baby to arrive in a nursery. You know, I wanna be able to have a room for him where I can nurse. And especially when I'm on my maternity leave, yeah, definitely. So this this house that I'm in now, it's not. It's just not, not gonna work out. So that's that, let me get off the subject. So yes, a two bedroom, trying to get into a bigger home. Also a better job where I can make more money because the profit that I'm making and the income that I'm making myself alone is not enough. And especially when, like I'm already struggling on bills. Let that alone and of bringing a baby, no. I need to get a be better job. Number three is getting a bigger car. Right now, I am driving a Pontiac Sunfire. It drives great, yes it does, but it's a two door car. Like it's a two door car. No, I need four doors, I need, I can't even put a car seat back there. I have to lift my seat up just to put, no, that's doing too much. I need to get a two, I just need to get a bigger car. So that's that. That's that y'all. That's pretty much it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I haven't been making a lot of videos cause I've been so busy, tired. It's just working. It's just been a lot going on. I, and I've been trying to find time. Um, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe for more videos. And uh, guys, I have, I've been having a lot of ideas that I've been wanting to put on this channel. So y'all better stay tuned. So that's the end of the video, guys. Um, We will be dropping a video tonight, by the way. So y'all better stay tuned. Bye.